today I'm here with these two lovelies! <laughs> We're going to be filming a beauty chat video, um, the ones I normally do with Anna, but today we have a special guest, Amelia! Yay! She's very excited, I don't think you've actually I'm been so in excited. any of those videos before. I haven't, and so, I've loved no, the vlogs! Twinkle lights. You've been in the vlogs, yeah, except yeah, vlogs. So yeah, we're going to do a beauty chat video. We've got five questions, I think. So let's get started. The first one is, what is your favourite non-greasy hand cream for winter? Should we go from that side? Yes. Ooh, pressure. Oh, I just showed my <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the Soap and Glory hand food. It's just like a good, good. classic. Cheap and cheerful, and I like the fact they all come in different sizes. And they smell good. I've never smell actually them. tried that. Oh, smell it. I always smell say it. this, and then you both are like, Ooh. smell it. Oh, that smells really It nice. smells incredible. Mm -hmm. I think this is just really good stuff. I smell greasy. Yeah, my favourite is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve, and I love this. I like the really travel size one as well for my handbag, but it's completely non greasy. You can't even feel it. It's unscented, so it's good for like sensitive skin, and I love it. I've gone through tubes of this stuff. My favourite is this Aesop one. I almost picked that one. Did you? Yeah. Kind of also for the packaging. Yeah, I yeah. The packaging metal is tube. really cool, the metal tube, and it smells really, really nice. It smells kind of like zesty and orangey, mm. yeah, it's quite mm. nice. really citrusy, mm. not greasy, sinks in really easily, does the job, really really like this one. So the next question is, how would you wear a dark lip in the daytime? I like this Ooh, question. I like this question. Well, we kind of are, me and Lily kind of have a bit of a like, you have like a semi dark lip. Yeah. I've got a very dark lip on today and it is daytime. And I've got the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. And my top tip would be keep everything else really simple. Yeah. I've just got like a tiny bit of matte eyeshadow on and loads of mascara. And also something matte I think is also more daytime appropriate. I think a big glossy bold lip mm. can sometimes look a bit like glamorous for daytime. Yeah, one of my tips would also be uh, the same, to keep your eye makeup quite simple. Yeah. Curl your lashes, these are my little eyes. Oh yeah, that's Ooh. a good tip. Yeah. I also think if you blot nice. down your lipstick, it makes it a bit less like in your face. So I put the lipstick on and then use tissue and just go like that. And oh. um, the kind of, I quite like the sheer plummy shades if for a dark lip, like MAC Plumful is a really good dark shade, but it's kind of quite yeah. easy to I wear like in the daytime yeah, as well. One. Yeah. My tip would be to add a bit of blush. I think sometimes in the day, when you wear a red lip, you kind of look a bit washed out. I do it. Me now. <laughs> yeah, me now. <laughs> a bit washed out. So just a little blush. This is just one from Wet n Wild. Something like quite pinky to make you look a bit more alive. Mm. Okay, the next question is how to hold a curl in your hair. And this one I'm passing straight on to these girls because <laughs> I don't know. I think it Amelia has got this one covered because like, her curls stay in for days. Yours do, but you've got really good hair. I think that yours I feel just like how your my hair. hair is shorter, it holds a curl better. That's when it was longer, I had like no hope in hell. So Are those still the ones from yesterday? No, I washed my hair this morning. I, I will quickly just say though, hairspray, and this one is yeah. fab. Living Ooh, Proof oh. Flex hairspray, really nice flex, like matte. <laughs> Very like NARS like, and this stuff is really good because it's not crispy at all. Mm. Okay, take so. it away. <laughs> 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 okay, so basically, what I do when I'm curling my hair is I make sure that like, you brush your hair out first so there are no kind of knots or tangles in it. Then if you're using like a wand or a straightener, make sure that your hair is kind of flat around the barrel, if that makes sense. If your hair's like piled on top of each other, then the heat isn't going to all of the hair, so it's not gonna heat up the whole hair. Then you wanna make sure that like, whilst your hair is cooling down, that it's in the position you want it to be in for the rest of the day. So I'll kind of, if I curl my hair like that, I'll then pin it in that position as it cools down and then once my hair's cool I'll take it out and that way it will hold and then before and after I do that I spray it with hairspray so before I put on my tongue or whatever I'll spray the bit with hairspray tongue it just quite like light hairspray tongue it and then spray it again to hold and then pin and then you're done I told you she knows <laughs> festive nail polishes. Ooh, I'm massively into red carpet manicure at the moment. You are. It's what I've got on my nails right now and I've got red carpet ready. Ooh, it's really nice. nice. In the ready. <laughs> I really like what they did there. I think this stuff is great because it kind of just lasts so long and you know when it's party time and you're like damn I forgot to paint my nails. I never have that because this stuff literally stays on for like well over a week and then I like I own runway which is like a Chanel Rouge Noir type shade and the glitter, I picked up this one. I think this was last year's SE Christmas collection called Leading Lady and it's like oh. burgundy, which I love, with pink and red sparkles. Nice. I love that one. It has Christmas year. Day written all over it. It's so 
for me. Nice. I picked two Essies for mine because my favourite nail brand and during Christmas festive period I just have to go for glitter. I always sit down <laughs> and try and put my nails on something really nice and chic and it ends up just glittery mess. I just love glitter. So I've picked two. This one is Beyond Cozy which yeah. is like a silvery glitter That's and this one's Toggle to the Top which is pretty much exactly like your one. It's a bit, a bit dark. Like, Leading Lady's a bit darker. They're very similar. Yeah, really like, similar. Yeah. Um, nice burgundy glitter and I love these. And I knew you guys were both going to choose it. So <laughs> I'm going to be really different and choose something totally different and this is the Sephora Formula X in love chemistry and it's like a gold silver pinky like I'm not even a glitter person but this was just too pretty to not love and then I also have one of my favorites which I turned you guys on to these yeah, yeah. the yes. bourgeois one second gel nail polish because the brush applies like in seconds it dries in like not even a minute like yeah. less than a minute and this is just a really nice party red shade this is none better less so the next me. question is what are your winter beauty essentials Okay, where shall I start? I think a really nice, dewy looking, fresh foundation is just very important for winter because I find winter light is just not very flattering because yeah. it can look a bit flat. So Chanel Vitalinia <coughs> Aqua was one of mine, as are the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. So that's why I said that. I would yes. never have guessed. I mean, it's not like I mentioned them at all, completely. I just so can't, nice stop, I can't stop buying them. And <laughs> how many do you have? I just say I'm similar shit. There's more honestly like my I made you buy like, Dragon Girl, didn't I? Lily made me buy Dragon Girl, but then when we went to Space NK like last week, Lily was like, You do not need to buy any more. And <laughs> I was like, such I'm a sorry. red one. I was like, how can there be any reds left? Yeah, but this one, damned, that's a really nice shade. <laughs> they're so good though. They so are really sweet. good. So they're good bold lip. And then two skincare things which I think are good for like adding a bit of like freshening up your skin. Arico, is that how you say yeah. it? Amelia is a huge You're asking fan. Amelia how to pronounce it. Is. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Amelia. Amelia's pronunciations of things always crack yeah. up. But this stuff is great. It's the Transcend Marine Radiant Serum, which is a really nice serum. It's got a bit of, I don't, I don't want to say shit. It's, it's got like a glow. Sheen. It's got a sheen yeah. to it. So I like using that from. in the morning. And then the MV Organic Skincare Pure Jojoba Oil, mm. which is good for like, Moisturising, throwing in your hair, putting in the bath, taking off, taking off waterproof mascara. Really? Mm. This stuff is really good for that, so it's quite nice for like, nourishing everything. That's a good little roundup. Yeah. I just picked a couple of skincare things because I knew these girls would bring some other more interesting <laughs> stuff. In the winter, I just love piling on the oils that my skin gets really dry. So the two things I've been loving at the moment are both from Sarah Chapman. One is her cleansing balm, which I really like. And compared to the Emma Hardy one, I find it a bit more oily, which is why I like mm. to use it in the winter and the overnight facial which is just an overnight oil and I love this stuff, oh, it's, it's just so my good. skin like drinks it's it up, so good. It loves it and also a lip balm is an essential and my favourite one is not very glamorous but it's like what's it called, Cymex lip protector which you can get from Boots and this is just amazing, it always helps if I have really dry lips so I love that. Yeah, you turn me on to that one, it's so good, mm. I really like it, okay mine First of all, I'm a really lazy moisturiser person, like I never, <laughs> literally never moisturise, but I've been talking about this recently, and this is like the Vaseline Ooh, Spray and Go. It's out. really nice, it's getting really it out. Nice. <laughs> there, that's it, you're like done and moisturised. Well, can like, I try it? You hardly need to rub oh, it, it in, nice. I just sprayed it really What's the scent? <laughs> <laughs> you're so <laughs> mean. <laughs> It's not like, too sweet and chocolatey, like Palmer's I find is like, whoa, this is really chocolatey. Yeah, mm, this is nice. like quite light and nice. And it sinks in really easily Ever. and it's just like moisturising for lazy it's people. Like so I just whack that over you. Then I have a moisturiser, this is the one I'm using at the moment, and this is the La, La Roche Posay one. It's just so good. It's mm. just, Ooh, it's like quite creamy. Tolerant. Yeah, and if your skin is like dry, you know when you get that kind of dry winter skin that's like flaky and red yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. just like sore? This just completely sorts it out. It's mm. so, so good. And it's really not expensive at all. Then my last skincare thing is an eye cream. And I've just bought a couple here, but I find that my concealer in the winter like creases yeah. and it settles into the lines and it's like really horrible, mainly because my under eyes are so so dry, so definitely an eye cream. I, I know you love this one. I like that one. The pie one and also an Aesop one, which is more balmy, which I really like. And then, sorry, I've bought so many. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep, keep going. rolling. Okay, 
I'm gonna run through this. <laughs> Luminous Foundation, <laughs> Bourgeois Happy Light. This is kind of, I haven't tried Beauty Lumi Aqua, but this is Have just like a nice, got? no. Ooh. Maybe I need That's to good stuff. Yeah, you do. Um, you <laughs> look like you do. Um, this is just like a really nice, luminous, it's like luminous, but not greasy. It's yeah, not like greasy, think. just gives you like a nice glow. Natural. And then a lip balm with like a bit of color to it. So this is the Corez or Kors one. And it has Ooh. a nice little pink and then it has a little metal Whoa, it's applicator. Like, it's like huge. Yeah, but it has like a metal so roll. Like, yeah, so it's like cool. So those are all the questions that you guys asked, but currently on my blog this week I'm doing mascara week, so I thought I'd throw in a little bonus question and ask Ooh. these lovely ladies what their all-time favourite mascara is. Go on, Adam. And I'll show you mine as okay. well. Lily has told me off because I bought two and apparently <laughs> that's, that's not She's allowed. A, yeah. But kind of all-time favourite would obviously be L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara, but they don't sell it anymore and it just upsets me way too much. Yeah. But the um, Max Factor Force Lash Effect Waterproof one is a good enough alternative, but recently, it's quite a new purchase, YS YSL Faux Seal, is that how you say yeah. it? The waterproof one of that, I'm feeling it. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. I love really YSL good. mascaras, but they dry out so quick. I quite like a dry mascara though. I was like looking forward to that, I'm like, ooh, dry out, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Mine is the Max Factor Fast Lash Effect Fusion Mascara Volume and Length. I love all the Max Factor mascaras, mm, they good. always have and They have a nice big fat wand with like really short bristles, so you can just kind of wiggle it at the root. Bit of length, bit of volume, no clump. Is it what you've got on today? Yes. Amelia's eyelashes are just <laughs> looking. I was like looking at them from above and I was like, whoa, incredible. Yeah, they are. Kudos. My favourite is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume, which is just the best. And it's different. I used to like the fibre brushes. This is like yeah. a plasticky wired one and it really grips the lashes. It's really quick and easy to use. So if you want to go check out Mascara Week, that's on my blog and I'll put the link below. And that's everything from our Beauty Chat video. Thank oh, you for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was fun. So nice. It was fun. It's very it's squishy, fun. but fun. <laughs> We're very squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it so, warm. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put your beauty chat questions in the comment box below this video, and we'll do them in the we'll next video. We'll do them next time. Yeah, yeah next time. time. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Amelia's channel. I'll Ooh. link it below, and Anna's, and everybody's. So see you next time. Bye. Bye. This is my favourite. So if you want to see everything else I've written about mascaras, my other mascara favourites. <laughs>